perimeter simply means, anybody know what perimeter means? The length and the distance around something. Distance around. So if you have a rectangle and you know that that rectangle is 8 inches by, let's say, 14 inches, to find its perimeter, you would add all of its sides, which but you might say, but they don't give me two sides. Well, with rectangles, you know opposite sides are equal, so it ends up looking a lot like that. So the perimeter would equal 14, 14 plus 8 plus 8. Eight times eight times eight, plus eight plus eight plus eight is twenty-four, right? Two, four, four, four. Forty-four inches. Now, as we talk about this all the time, if you see this problem come up in your book, Jack, obviously you're going to do what first? Draw the rectangle on your paper, labeling its dimensions. Are you with me, Faith? What did I just say? Oh, the joke is wrong. Got it. Okay. So if the problem in the book is this, here's your rectangle, and it is 3 inches and 5 inches, you're going to draw that rectangle. It doesn't have to be to scale. It doesn't have to be 3 inches by 5 inches, but you need to write that down there. Now, you will see sometimes this. When we talk about rectangles, we have the width and we have the length. Long L, usually the longer side is the length, so it's a good way to remember width is that side there. Now, if we were writing what we call a formula in math about that, instead of using numbers, instead of using numbers, we would write the formula to look like this. Perimeter equals width plus width plus length plus length, right? Because whatever the width is, we add together twice, and whatever the length is, we add together twice. But we can also write that a little simpler. If you add the same number together twice, like 8 plus 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, right? Another way to write 8 plus 8 in shorter form is 8 plus 8 is the same as what, Wade? 8 times 2. 8 times 2. So, instead of saying width plus width, I can put 2 times width, which is what that means, plus 2 times length. So if you see this, this is what the perimeter equals. Perimeter equals 2 times whatever the width is, which happens to be 3, plus 2 times whatever the length is, which happens to be 5. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 5 is 10, so perimeter is going to equal 16. And that's what you'd get if you added all of those together. It's a pretty simple little thing, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on it. Now, with that being said, I need you to make sure, take out another blank piece of paper, or look, I don't remember, you should have a piece of paper that says the word regular on it. If not, take out a blank piece of paper and write the word regular on it. I can't remember. I do it in so many classes. I don't remember. Look and see if you got something that says regular. If you don't, then take out a new piece and put regular on it. Because you need to know what regular is when it comes up in your book. Maybe you didn't. Maybe we did. I don't know. It's been a long time. Yet. When you see the word regular, regular means when they talk about regular polygons. Regular polygons mean that all sides are equal. And the reason you need to know that is because of this example problem. The book might say this, a regular pentagon, a regular pentagon has a perimeter of 30 inches. How long is each 
side. Okay. How long is each side? Well, the first thing, obviously, you're going to do, Bryce, is you will take and draw as best you can a regular pentagon, which means it looks a little like this. And obviously, we're all a little drawing challenge, and then you'll write down next to it that the perimeter equals 30 inches. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if every side has to be the same, and there are five of them, what number added to itself five times is going to give you 30? Wait, you get six, right, which is 30 divided by five. A 30 into 5 equal pieces, each side would have to equal 6 inches. And they'll do that with octagons and hexagons and heptagons and dodecahedrons and whatever else it would be. Quadrilaterals, triangles, just make sure that you draw the picture out, write the perimeter. You know, if it was a regular triangle, whose perimeter equaled 45. How long would each side be? Well, again, you draw your triangle. If its perimeter equals 45, and you know all three sides are equal, you might have to actually do that division. Three goes into 45. That's one, two, three, 15 times. Each side equals 15. Everybody's happy with that? Now, blank piece of paper that says circles.